And this is show number 29, which means that it is a review. So if by any chance you missed the shows earlier in the week, this is an opportunity for you to catch right back up again with them. And I do hope you will. We're going to go back and review the one of many variations to the spinal twist. So have your legs straight out in front of you. Bend the right knee and put your right foot to the left side of your left calf or your knee. Do not bring the foot way back. We will do that later, but you're not ready for it quite yet. We need to break into this somewhat gradually. Have the weight evenly distributed on both of your sitting bones. Try to sit upright and bend your left elbow and put your hand, your elbow, to the right side of your knee. Stretch your arm down the shaft of your leg and try to hold on to your foot. Again, if you can't do that, a sash around the ankle where you can hold on to it will be perfectly fine. We're needing to stretch this area here. Now, extend the left leg straight in front, pull the toes toward you, pull yourself up nice and tall, bring your right arm out in front, freeze the shoulder joint. Don't start to swing your arm. Keep that arm in front of you. Simply move your shoulders. Twist your spine. Try to get your chest to face the wall to your right. Then glide your chin over your shoulder and now you bring your arm back. Keep your chin over your shoulder. Keep your eyes on your fingertips. Sit up tall. Get the weight on both sitting bones. Breathe softly. Lengthen up your spine. Keep pushing the left heel away from your body. Feel the muscles in your back contracting. Get more spinal flexibility and bring your shoulders forward. Get your chest come to face forward. Bring your arm forward and stretch. Separate your shoulder blades. Tuck your chin in slightly just to stretch out the muscles that were tightly contracted and release. Ease out of your position. Have the right leg straight in front of you. Get the left foot over to the right of your knee, to the right of your calf. Push the heel away from your body. Bend the right elbow. Put it to the left side of your calf, of your knee. Hand down, hold your foot. Lengthen up, try to get the equal amount of weight on both sitting bones. Left arm straight out in front of you. Shoulders squared and begin to move your shoulders to the left. Move your shoulders to the left. Keep turning, keep turning. Only now do you swing your arm back. Swing your arm back, open up your chest, get the weight on both sitting bones, lengthen your spine, keep your chin over your shoulder, open through the breastbone, keep pushing the heel away from your body, feel the stretch in your spine, feel the muscles contracting in your back, and come forward, come forward, and stretch. Separate your shoulder blades, tuck your chin in, and release. Now having worked out into the shoulders, we're going to go back and do the deer pose. In this case, you extend your left leg straight out in front of you, you bring the right heel very tightly into your right hip joint. Lean your body forward so that the knee comes behind your shoulder joint. Extend your arm out to the side, having your palm facing the ceiling and the thumb is facing the wall behind you. Bend your elbow, bring your arm around behind you, other hand back, whole hands, whole hands. Lift up your chin, inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. Try to put your forehead over your knee. Inhale, pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine. Coming into the upright position and exhale. Ease out of your position. Extend the right leg straight out in front of you. Bring the left heel into the left hip joint. Lean your body forward, get your shoulder in front of your knee, arm out to the side, turn your palm to the ceiling so the thumb is pointing to the wall behind you, 
bend your elbow, bring your other arm around behind you, and hold hands. Hold hands with yourself. Push the right heel away from your body, chin up, inhale, and then exhale, fold forward, fold forward. Try to bring your forehead over your knee. Inhale, pick up your head, bring your torso up, and exhale, ease out of your position. These are important, not that we're trying to be contortionists, but as, as we age, as time goes on, by the time you're 20, we start rolling forward the shoulders, the muscles in the chest wall begin to shorten, and you drop the head forward, so we need to do these stretches that will open up the entire torso and bring those joints back. All right, now, we're going to go back and review the camel and the cat, which is combining two postures. Placing your palms flat on the floor, having your knees a comfortable distance apart. You need to sway your spine, lift up your tailbone, lift up your chin, and inhale with a deep sway. And then exhale, drop your head between your arms, push your spine to the ceiling, empty the air, empty the air, push your shoulder blades way, way high. Inhale, sway your spine, bring the tailbone way up, chin up. And exhale, sway, push up, shoulders way up, and come up onto your knees. And begin to arch your back. Tighten up your stomach just to be on the safe side. We'll do one side first. And rotate facing up when we did the camel. Coming up, turn to the other side, all the way there. Other hand down. Breathe softly now. Push your pelvis forward. Lift up your head and slowly bend your knees. Don't go all the way down. Only go where you know you are safe. Coming down just only as far as you know that your knee joints will give to you. Push up. Arch your back. Face the ceiling. Coming up. Hands on, on the floor. Knees down. Tailbone up. Arch your spine. Inhale. Chin up. Exhale. Round out. Push. Inhale, pushing up. Exhale, ease down, putting your hands on your heels. Open up your chest. Breathe softly, lift your head slowly. This is working a lot of different parts in your body. Ease down, don't go down too far. And push up and come back. Now coming down onto sitting position, rub around your knee joints, stimulating the circulation. And on the other side, stimulate circulation. We're going to go back and work those muscles to the inside of your knees, the thighs. Very hard little muscles to get to work on. Having your arms out shoulder level, your stomach is tight, you have a pelvic tilt. Bend the right knee and put your right foot on top of your left knee. Have your knee over your body and straighten your leg up as high as possible. It will not go perfectly straight. I mean, I could make it go straight, but that would straighten the leg out. You see the difference? So you wanna come up as high as it'll go without turning this way. Still out to the side, down, and again, up, way up, and down. Push the knee a little farther away. Leg up, you could go a little higher. Leg up, and leg up. Push it yet farther away, leg up, leg up, and leg up, and down. Left foot on your knee, the knee over the chest, leg up, leg up, leg up. Push the knee farther out, up. Get your mind connected to those muscles. Feel how they're working, up. Push the knee farther away, leg up, leg up, leg up, and down. Again, knee over your chest, up, 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 out to the side a little bit, 
up, 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 all the way out. Up, up, and up. I feel right exactly right in that area. And other knee over the chest. Up, 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 out to the side. Up, up, up. Farther out, up, 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 and down. Bring both knees into the chest, rock a tiny bit, and put your feet flat. Push your feet as far away from you as you can, as long as your toes remain flat on the floor, stomach tight, a pelvic tilt, interlock your thumbs, sit up, Come to the front part of your sitting bones. Draw your stomach in solidly for this variation of a sit-up. Rolling down, rolling down. Keep your stomach muscles very tight. Come onto your waistline. Rolling up, rolling up, all the way to the front part of your sitting bones. Roll down, tighten up your stomach. Roll down, roll down. Keep your feet on the floor. Come onto your waistline. This is a, a back healthy sit-up. Easing up, easing up to the front part of the sitting bones. Breathe softly, going back down. Keep your stomach very, very tight. Easing down onto your waist. Lifting up, have your feet very lightly touching the floor. Get to the front part of your sitting bones. Tighten up your stomach, really pull in, pull in, pull in. Easing down, easing down onto your waist. Coming up. Rotate your pelvic girdle forward. Get way to the front part of the sitting bones. Tighten up your stomach. Ease down. Ease down onto your waist. Tighten the stomach very, very firmly. Coming back up again, back up again to the front part of the sitting bones. Easing back down, stomach very, very tight, ease down, roll all the way down now, bringing your knees into your chest, and rock. Just make a few little rocking motions, let go of your back, till next time, bye. To purchase a copy of Ready, Set, Stretch, program 012-001, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.